you know, we all come here to the planet of tribulation to be able to learn certain things so that we can grow humanly and so that we can learn and experience things physically speaking so that we can grow from them and then take them with us once we leave this earthly plane. I think the Creator sends us here as little bits and pieces of Himself. We gather this, we become wiser you know, through our, our living experiences. We go back to the other side carrying those experiences and evolving to a higher soul level. So I do believe that we reconnect and we merge with other souls on the other side to become a little bit more powerful. to be able to be accepted in what it is that I do because I'm going to tell you when I was younger there was no acceptance of this you know my mother was psychic Beatrice I was psycho Betty you know kids can be really cruel and so it's really difficult to try to get over that stigma you know even growing up coming out of my little spiritual closet was something difficult I feel like I always have to turn somewhere around here At the bottom of the lake, it was so murky. I was tangled up in my bike and I couldn't move out of it. I still remember looking to the top of the water, thinking it was so far away, but yet it wasn't really that far away. Basically, my experience was that I felt the sun come through the water. It was really warm and I was so afraid at that point because I didn't know what was going on with me. I didn't know why I was in so much pain and why my body was hurting all over the place. Um, from that point, I just felt the sun pick me up. I almost felt as if it had lifted me and it just felt so warm and I just felt as if all the pain had gone away from my body and I felt so good. As I was going through this sunny light, I could see shapes around me, outlines of white, sort of like people. And I don't know how to explain it, but it was so white and so bright. It was like outlines, hundreds and hundreds of people trying to touch me as I was going through the sunshine. And then I just remember waking up in the hospital. I don't really remember too much else. He smells funny. Did he smell funny? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he smells a little funny. Yeah. Okay. Is that him? Okay. He's a nice People that are like me have to be really bold and out there and really not care what other people think of you. Like, really. Because if you had to have that, and if I'm talking to you and interpreting something, if I thought for one minute that you weren't going to believe anything I had to say, I'd have difficulty interpreting that or having that confidence in bringing awareness to what it is that you need to know. understand that? That could surround you quite a bit, but you feel guilty about that. Do you understand? They made me feel that your whole life changed as a result of that passing. Okay, honey? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. What happened? Can I ask you? Is there a crib death here? Because they make me feel it's a crib death, okay? This baby is not more than three, four months old. Yeah. Yeah. They make me feel it's a little girl. I want to tell you, yeah. the loss of a child, I think, is the worst. And it's not to measure grief in any way, but it's just the way I feel around parents who have lost children. It tears me apart. I can feel the emotion. I mean, I just, I'm close to tears throughout the whole reading. and. And sometimes children will replay their deaths inside of my head so I get to see how they die. And when I see the mother or the father letting go of that, it's so difficult. It's, it's hard to let go of a child. But you need to let that go, sweetie, okay? You need to let that go because that baby was intended to be there, but that baby's fine, happy, healthy. You can greet you when you pass. You've got a nice long life. You don't have to worry about anything like that, okay? But just to let you know, now when you get married, can I ask? August 15th.